Well, good morning. We just finished our animal chores, and now we got to work on some fencing. I hear tell got some questions about fencing. So, what we use here is uh, field fence. We also use some cattle panels, but don't use goat panels, just basically because they cost too dang much. Let me show you what happens to a fence after a few years with boar goats. This is up here to protect this. This used to be nice and taut. Now it's kind of sagging badly. It needs to be repaired. You go along here and you can, kind of hard to see, but you get the gist of it. Now the boars, this was the boys yard and the boar is pretty big. Um, it's not a boar goat in this case. Uh, the uh, big goat that we had, General, he's no longer with us. We sold him, he didn't die, we sold him. He was too powerful. We now have a, a Nubian who's a huge Nubian and he is tearing up these fences just like the boars did. I guess, you know, the bigger the batter. Now what happens here is that uh, they tear it up in sense that uh, they want more hay. They want to be the first to get any kind of feed or hay. Now, if you follow this little trail, we come to the pasture split. Now here, what we've used is, again, cattle panel, and then a little bit of field fencing, uh, not field fencing, um, welded wire fencing, that's what they call it, welded wire, basically, because the pieces are wired up. Now, this fence is really not goat friendly. They tear this stuff up pretty fast. The reason that we're using it in this application it's because it's a split between the yards and baby goats can get through these holes. Um, once they get bigger, they're finished. They can't get through. It's the same with the fencing over there. We use that again at the same point for uh, separating the two, but we don't really, we haven't put any of this uh, welded wire up because they don't, I don't mind them passing through there if they have to. Believe it or not, that gate actually has chicken wire on it so that they can't pass through. When we segregate them, we don't want them coming into the boys yard and we're coming up on rut, so it's fence repair time. So today we're repairing a gate. We've already moved the fence and why we moved the fence is because well, it was supposed to be done when we first installed it, but we were in a rather big hurry to put this fence in. We used railroad ties as our corner posts. And here you can see what we've done. Now this fence here looked exactly like that fence I showed you over there, sagging badly. Now you see it's nice and tight, taut, looks good, looks, looks darn near new. If you get down here closer to the, to the barn, you can see I've moved this fence over. And the reason I moved it over to where it's supposed to have been in the first place was because of these shade trees. I know a lot of work for shade trees, but these shade trees, what's up cat? These shade trees, uh, these are uh, being eaten by the goats as you see where the fence line was where the cat is uh, we just hurried up and hooked it to the side of the barn at that time just so that it was uh, done and goats could get in here but now we're doing it the right way and this fence was shot so i thought well we'll put it the way it was supposed to be in the first place so nice and tight so even if you have some fencing that looks like it's sagged out real bad uh, 
this is what it looked like. Now this only stops chickens, so I'm not really concerned too much about it. But as you can see, this fencing along here is sagging and out of whack. It should actually be brought over as well. And eventually I may do that, but for now it's fine. It's just chickens. This side here, of course, is the, the bad side. So what we're doing is today we're gonna fix a gate. As I said, we use railroad ties, or I use railroad ties as my corner posts and my supports. And they're getting a little old. This particular one that we were hinged to has seen better days. And the outside, it looks fine. The problem is on the inside, she's going hollow. Probably maybe another two, three years, she'll rot through. So my hinge pins that I use, which are this standard threaded style, don't work no more. The gate hair has been caving in for some time. So what I've done, and what we're doing today, we got our big old spade bit here, and we're going to put it on my extension. We're gonna bore through, and we're gonna put this here threaded rod through, and give ourselves a couple more years of this post. Otherwise, I'd have to dig it up and replace it. And I just put the other one in down at the other end. And that was my last railroad tie that available. So Anyway, so what we're doing is we're going to grab this drill. Hang on for dear life. Because this is one of my more potent drills. It's old as heck, but it still works. And we're going to bore us a hole. Okay, so. We drill this hole. And as you can plainly see when I do this, we drilled through about two inches. And now there's nothing. It's completely hollow. And then we push back into the back side. So there you go. Pin's a little long, but that's okay. I'd rather have it long than too short. Uh, we'll hang this gate and I'll show you what we got going. Okay, so we're all set. We have the gate rehung. Um, you can see the pin goes through a bit, but that's okay. I need, uh, you know, you need adjustments. The gate's floating quite nicely now. Works out quite well. And uh, next project is to pull down all this fencing. But rut's coming up here pretty quick and uh, I'm not ready to pull this down. I'll pull that fence down next year and do it over again once rut's over because we moved the boys into this yard and they moved back into their barn over there. But when they're not in the rut, they get to hang out with the girls. So again, um, fencing is tough. Remember, fencing is a deterrent. If an animal wants to go through, they're gonna go through, I guarantee it. Cows, horses, Fences are deterrents. That's all. Hot wires, good too. Yeah, you know, a deterrent. It's not going to stop them, but it's a deterrent. Anyway, 
that's all I got for fencing. Gates, trying to fix an old railroad tie before it dies. Y'all take care, save a buck. That's my motto.